Today, we live in a world where reaching the age of 80 or 90, and certainly 100, is an example of disability and suffering and disease. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're exploring the future of aging reversing time with science, inspired by the revolutionary research of Dr. David Sinclair. We're diving into the fascinating world of anti-aging science and the groundbreaking work of Dr. David Sinclair. Could we really reverse time? Let's find out. Dr. David Sinclair, a renowned professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School, has dedicated his career to understanding the aging process and how we can potentially reverse it. His research has sparked hope and excitement across the scientific community. I'm here to tell you that I have no doubt based on what I have seen in my lab and in companies now emerging around the planet that soon, certainly within the next decade, that we will start to see changes in what we can achieve in our lifetimes. So that a 70 year old will no longer have to worry about heart disease and cancer and dementia. An 80 year old can look forward to beginning a new life. And instead of worrying about the legacy can think about raising the great grandkids and contributing to society. And then even somebody in the nineties can look forward to many decades ahead. That future is a certainty. And the longer I live and the more research that I see and the results that are coming out from not just my group of 20 scientists at Harvard, but around the world tells us that this change in medicine uh, is coming. It's really no longer an if, it's really a question of when. Now, supplementation. I'm asked this question every day. David, what do you take? What should I take? Just give me the pill, that's all I want. I don't want to fast, I don't want to run, I want to just take a pill. So I'm not saying that these pills will replace exercise and fasting, but I can tell you that I believe they work in addition to these health benefits or these lifestyles. NED boosters, I talked about NMN. There are other ones such as NR. There's one called NAR. I take a gram, a 1000 milligrams of NMN every day in the morning. Berberine and metformin are two molecules that either separately or together work to lower blood sugar levels, which as I mentioned is very important for longevity. And so I take a thousand milligrams of metformin most days of the week. This is a drug that you get from doctors for type two diabetes, but it's also increasingly thought to protect against other diseases. So resveratrol and phazidin are chemical compounds from plants that are stressed. Resveratrol you find in grapes, phazidin is found in uh, other uh, plants that are stressed. And so I take usually between half a gram and one gram of these chemicals as well uh, in the morning. Spermidine is a very interesting molecule. Uh, you can find it in every type of cell, uh, including plants, and you can buy it as a supplement. And it's been shown to extend the lifespan of many different animals. And probably it works by stabilizing the epigenome, vitamin D3 and K2. These are very important, of course, in places where we avoid the sun or we cannot get enough sunlight. K2 is not very well known. Vitamin K2 will protect your cardiovascular system from calcium deposits and put the calcium into your bones rather than your arteries. And usually those supplements come together in the same pill. So I take that. I make sure my B vitamins are uh, maintained at the right level. I measure them. You don't want too high or too low. And alpha lipoic acid, I did my PhD on this molecule coincidentally, and it is a molecule that is very good for the energy in cells. And finally, the fish oils, those are very important for inflammation. And it turns out one of these molecules activates CERT1, and maybe that's why these are good for health. At the heart of Sinclair S work is the study of NED catenamide adenine dinucleotide, a molecule essential for energy production and cellular repair. NAD levels decline as we age, leading to many signs of aging and age-related diseases. Sinclair's research suggests that by boosting NAD levels, we can potentially slow down or even reverse some aspects of aging. But how does this work? Our cells are constantly under attack from various stressors, including UV light, radiation, and toxins. Over time, this damage accumulates, leading to aging. 
NAD plays a crucial role in activating enzymes called sirtuins, which help repair damaged DNA and maintain cellular health. It's this um, amazing uh, groundswell of interest in the ability, uh, not just to understand why we age, but as I wrote on my book, why we don't have to. And this breakthrough was the ability to turn on, and we discovered three genes in particular were very safe to be able to reverse aging by about 60 to 75%. These three genes um, are called OCT4, SOX2, and KLF4. Uh, we call them OS and K for short. And these OSK genes are normally only switched on in embryos. Uh, they keep stem cells young, um, and they're part of a set of genes that are named after a scientist called uh, Shinya Yamanaka in Japan, who won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of how to turn an adult, stem, uh, adult cell, like a skin cell, it back into a stem cell. Uh, but what we did was we, we reasoned that if we took a, just a few of those genes, we wouldn't make our bodies go back to a stem cell because that would turn us into a tumor. It would take us partially back and a, in, a, in a safe way and rejuvenate the cell without making the cell lose its identity and become a cancer. And that worked. So what, one interesting molecule is called alpha-ketoglutarate, and it is a, a molecule that's typically used by the body as part of an energy cycle. Uh, it's also used to make amino acids. It's, it's a pretty common molecule, but what was discovered is that those three genes that we reversed aging with um, in the mouse and in human cells uh, can be activated or assisted by this alpha-ketoglutarate or AKG. And uh, if you put it on human cells, their, their age goes backwards. We can measure that very accurately now by reading the chemical changes on the genome, on the DNA. Um, and so alpha ketoglutarate seems very safe. Uh, you can take it as a pill. And there are some, I would say, early uh, and in need of verification studies that show that the, the age of the blood in people that take this molecule goes backwards. Um, by years, in fact. And alpha-ketoglutarate, if you feed that to mice, they actually live longer and are healthier. Well, this isn't my research. Uh, we're doing research, but what I'm telling you is research that's out of other labs. Brian Kennedy is a leader in this field. He's over in Singapore. I trained with him uh, in the 1990s, so it's, uh, I know him very well in his research. I trust him. And so I think this is an example of the future where there will be a cocktail of molecules, safe ones that you can take, and the doctor will, or you can measure at home your age. Um, I've developed a test that you can take a cheek swab, mail in your DNA with the cells, and you'll get a uh, number of your, your biological age. And then you can, with your doctor or even without, you can monitor your age and see if you're going backwards in age with this simple test. So this is the basics of what I do and my father does every day, including try to exercise and don't eat too much. So how old am I? Well, you can measure it. Uh, I've been taking tests for my age for over a decade. And every year over the past decade, I've been getting younger, according to this test. And actually, it might be right. If you look at my old photos, I think I look older than I do now. Uh, you can be the judge. But you can see in this graph here, where I sit is here, the youngest of about 10,000 people that have been measured my age. So I'm telling you, science works. If you measure, change, measure, change, you can go back like I did biologically by at least a decade. So I mentioned my father. My father is now 83. This was one of one year in his life before COVID, uh, uh, the pandemic. At 80, he was as active as he was when he was 30 and feels just as fit and healthy. He still has no diseases. He doesn't even wear glasses to drive a car at night. And so my hope is that my father can serve as a shining example of what humanity can achieve, which is that in your 80s, you can begin a new career. You can be productive. You can learn a new instrument, a new language, and look forward to another 30 years of life. Take home message today. Aging truly is reversible. This disease that we all have, we can slow it down and we can even reverse it. And in the future, when this happens, we will wonder why we didn't do it before. Why did we ignore aging until now? Dr. Sinclair strongly advocates that our lifestyle decisions play a crucial role in enhancing our lifespan. 
He suggests that maintaining a well-rounded diet, engaging in regular physical activity, practicing intermittent fasting, and possibly supplementing our diet with NMN nicotinamide mononucleotide to increase NAD levels can all contribute to a longer, healthier life. The integration of these lifestyle changes with the latest scientific advancements could potentially lead us to a future where the aging process is considerably decelerated and our health span the period of our lives spent in good health is prolonged. The future of aging could look drastically different with people living healthier, more vibrant lives well into their 100s. Imagine the possibilities. What do you think about the potential to reverse aging? Are you excited about these scientific advancements? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the science of tomorrow. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.